Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my gigolos and gigolettes. It's me Gio. Y'all know who the fuck it is. Alrighty. Uh it is 1050 at night on Sunday. Whatever the hell date it is. The third? <laughs> Happy New Year. Um I'm gonna do an earnings recap for my third best week ever as a gig worker and it's also it's kind of funny because this is um maybe nearly three times what i did last year on the same week so what i'm gonna do is uh invite you all to grab a drink because that's what i'm doing this is a concoction made of screwball whiskey and diet coke A lot, lot of this this week helps me rest. So for you, those of you wondering, there screwball. This is whiskey that tastes like peanut butter, and it really does taste like peanut butter, and it's really, really, really good. Um, yeah, uh, <clears throat> uh just uh, you know, foremost getting in there. Um, not entirely accurate on the hours. Um, I wasn't tracking my hours day to day, so I'm going from memory, like, um, you know, some days I was confident how many hours worked, like, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I know how many hours I worked. Thursday, um, you know, New Year's Eve, it's, it's hard to tell because, like, my first task was originally, ah, fuck it, yeah. Anyway, it, it was about 75 hours, it could have been a little bit over. It was probably a little bit less, but um, for the sake of simplicity, uh, we can go ahead and do. I I put in my my phone seventy four and a half hours. It sounds right. It might have been seventy five. I don't know. I, <laughs> it's been a very long week. Um, but okay, let's let's get cracking. So Monday, uh, Monday started with a bang. Oh yeah, and the earnings that shows on Lyft, as you guys know, like. Sunday doesn't end until 4.59 on Monday. You know, Monday doesn't end until 4.59 a.m. on Tuesday. Same same thing. So a lot of these earnings, they're not entirely reflective of what I did that day. So, for example, like, um, I have Lyft Monday earnings, even though I didn't run Lyft on Monday. I ran it the following day at, <laughs> at 4, 4.30, right? Um, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to count it as the day it's counted on the, um, on the app. So, cause it doesn't change the earnings, right? So Monday, I remember started with the bank. Uh, Monday, I, um, uh, first task was, I believe at 9am pretty easy as me and, uh, me and KC, we had to move a sleeper sofa to the basement. It's probably one of the easiest sleeper sofas I've had to do so far because uh, the hallway going into the basement, it was one little staircase and then another little staircase. And the staircases were actually pretty wide and the client helped us. So that didn't take much time. And then uh, they were expecting a baby early next year. So they were setting up like baby furniture into the second floor that took all of, I think the whole job took 25 minutes. He left a tip on that one. And then as we were standing outside the task, having a smoke, uh, say hi, Wa. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Goodbye to your mother. Um, so as we were outside having a smoke, Casey got a lift ride and I was about to turn lift on because I didn't, uh, I think my next job was, was not booked until it wasn't, it wasn't booked until 5 PM that day. Well, full spinner, you want to go down? You want to go, you want to go off? Huh? Okay. I think, <sighs> um, so I'm like, okay, I probably just run lift too. I think I was like, yeah, I think I gotta go vacuum my car or something beforehand. <sighs> but then, as we're so, as as he head out, 
I got a same day offer on TaskRabbit, uh, about 30 minutes northwest to go empty out some things. Um, I, I took the offer, made my way out there. They wanted that job at 11, or they wanted that job done at, at 11. I messaged them, said I could be at 10 30. They said, okay. I made my way over there. It was moving a Coke machine from the main floor into the basement, moving this like 10 foot long wooden thing into a storage thing into the basement, uh, throwing out a dirty table from the patio, and one other thing. What was it? That's one other thing I forgot about. And then removing the bamboo plant. And then they told me to keep the bamboo plant. So, yeah. So that took 25 minutes. Uh, as I was on the way to the second task, I got a notification about a third task, which was moving a, moving some things downstairs and a sleeper sofa into another room. Uh, the guy said I need help. So I called Spicy. Spicy wasn't busy. Uh, so Spicy met me there. He was late, by the way. He fucking bastard. Um, so made my way over there. That job took about 35 minutes. We had to move a recliner into the basement a, and a desk into the basement and the sleeper sofa out. The, the first two items done in a flash, five minutes. Um, the sleeper sofa, we actually had to fuck with it a little bit. Actually was a little bit of a challenge, but you know, luckily I'm a pretty experienced mover at this point. So I got it figured out. Uh, like I said, the whole thing took 35 minutes. The guy gave us, so he invoiced two hours on the app. Um, that way I could pay spicy and he gave us each $20 cash tip. So that was 60 bucks right there. Fourth job, and this was another same day offer I got. I think I got this one before I left the second job. And that was moving a hot tub from the street. It was in the Gold Coast. From the street um, into a like this, this really nice place. And they originally wanted it going up to the third or fourth floor. And the funny thing is, like I said, since I don't make things up on my channel, one of my subs was actually on that job with me. So you can confirm that I was there. And confirm the difficulty of the job as well. As so I said, I don't make shit up on my channel. Ugh. So that was, um, yeah, that was, that took about 45 minutes. That took 45 minutes to get the 400 pound tub um, from the street into the house. Not even up the house. Not even up to where it's supposed to go. That was just to get it into the house. And that was a four man job. Um... And then the last job was they moved it to, they moved it from three, th from five to th three thirty. So I got there around two thirty and hung on my car. I was hoping I would take a nap. I was really tired. Um, I closed my eyes and everything didn't happen. Didn't take a nap. Um, the truck pulled up at three fifteen. I started working. Uh, Casey got there about ten minutes later. Job was done about five. 45-ish. I was home by like six. That's a cool thing. It wasn't really far from where I live. So that was, that was pretty cool. All right. So Tuesday, what happened on Tuesday? Okay. So Tuesday I ran Lyft, um, early in the morning. I think I turned my app on around four or something. Uh, and I had my first job my first job was at, yeah, first job was at 8.30. So I ran Lyft from like 4.15-ish. I want to say 4.15 till about 7.30. My last ride was an airport ride. Um, and I turned my filter on when I left the airport. Got nothing. So I went to the, where the task was. And uh, the other tasker was like half an hour late. And then knocked that out in a bit over like two and a half hours. I was running late to my second task of the day. And then essentially that client like told me like, let's just cancel. I don't have enough for you to do today because I forgot a piece of equipment like a fucking dumbass. So that happens. I ran Lyft after that. 
for a little bit. And then I had another job at, I remember I had to run home and get my appliance dolly because I had the job later on that day to uh, remove the washer and dryer and move up a washer and dryer. So that was, uh, oh my God, guys. Seriously? Seriously. Bad dogs. It's a truck. Nutcases. So I think I hung around home for like an hour and 20 minutes or something. Um, so then I had to go to a job in the suburbs to, guys, guys, please. Seriously? Stop it. I had to make my way to a job in the suburbs. It was, uh, they were redoing their floors on both, so the, the first floor and second floor. Where's the spray bottle? Do you know what a spray bottle is? Sorry, this, we have the water bottle that we use on there. Why are they so crazy? So that took, uh, that took about, about 45 minutes with another tasker moving a bunch of furniture from the first and second floor into the basement. Uh, the other tasker is six foot six. So he bumped his head probably five or six times in that basement. I bumped my head three or four times and I'm not six foot six. Cool guy, though. friendly guy. And that was the fun job well, with the moving the washer and dryer out and the new one in. That took about 45 minutes and he left me a $60 cash tip because you're so thankful for the job. So that was Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, first job. I only had one job that day. Okay, uh, okay, I remember now. Yeah, that was, um, I think I started around four something. That literally was all lift, all lift that day. Um, I, I made 160 bucks from 4.30 to 10 something. And I'm like, I was shooting for a $300 day. Um, you know, I had I had Amazon instant offer. I had the, you know, I was hoping for an instant offer at some point. I had the same days turned on for TaskRabbit. And I had a job lined up for one thirty. So I made a lot in those first few hours. And then nothing after that. Just straight grinding. But that was also, um, I didn't really want to do any economy. You know, so I just left. It was just me being a fucking bum. I just left um, Luxon, and yeah. So, and then I made my way towards my task at whatever time that was. That I got there at one forty. The job was to start at one thirty. I was a little late. And I couldn't find parking. Did that job. That took about two hours. Then I filtered home. I think I got two little rides. Yeah. So nothing spectacular. Still a decent day overall, even though most of the time was spent just waiting for Lux rides. Uh, Thursday, you know, Thursday I was banking on it being a $300 day. I really was. Um, oh, yeah. And then Tuesday I did my... So I, my, my Infinity was on a Turo uh, booking. It was on a seven-day booking, and I made 400 bucks. So I applied those earnings to this week because that's when I got the pay. <coughs> Rona. Um, all right, Thursday. Thursday, I was, uh, which is New Year's Eve, I was hoping it was going to be a huge day. I really was. So I, <coughs> pancake. Stop barking at no one. So Thursday... First job was booked for two to three hours, took 45 whole minutes, um, and then got a $20 cash themselves, 60 bucks for the first hour. Came back home, my girlfriend had something I had to drop off for her in the city, which worked out because it was literally seven minutes away from my delivery job that had for TaskRabbit. So, made my way back towards the city at 1015. Started my task at 11, that took exactly an hour. And then, pancake, please. These dogs are insane. So that took an hour, I had another job 
that was about 15 minutes northwest of the the second where the second job ended moving an elliptical uh the client did not respond to my messages about maybe bringing a helper because i don't know if she had anyone else i get there and she's like oh where's your helper i told you to bring someone i'm like no you didn't and i showed her my chat log um so she goofed up and she was responding to messages through the text message feature like not through the chat feature so i literally yeah i i was uh, very far up north so that's getting rebooked for tomorrow but very far up north so essentially wasting my time and then something else happened that day was interesting where they, my, my fourth job was in West Chicago, which is a pretty good distance away from where I live. Um, I used to live around there actually years ago. Um, I had to travel about 50 minutes, 50, five zero minutes to go to this job. I got there, it was really hard, it was a display case. Took three people, and I was the only tasker, to get it out of the basement into the garage. Um, really was expecting a tip on that one. Didn't get it. So Thursday was a disappointment because I was. If that first job would have been two hours, that would have been a hundred bucks with the cash tip. Um, if I completed the the elliptical job, oh yeah, and the delivery job, the guy he's a regular of mine, so he gave me twenty five bucks through uh, Zelle. So that was like 65 bucks right there. So if I would have completed the elliptical job, I would have made about 250 that day compared to 165. And if the first job took two hours, like they initially said it would, and yeah, that would have been like a $250 day, which is better than the 165 I made. So New Year's Day, um, I started driving around, oh no, incorrect, sorry. I had an Amazon block for 8 a.m. So I left home around 7.30, got there around 7.50. Uh, it was essentially six stops, but returning to Whole Foods two more times. That wrapped up around 9.40. Went to go get my car vacuumed, and then I started running Lyft, and then Lyft was pretty fucking busy. I'm not gonna lie, it was, it was cranking uh, New Year's Day. And I think it's because there was just like no drivers. You know, a lot of the, the driver, the, the rideshare drivers out there were out in the wee morning hours for New Year's Day. Um, so, yeah, I think I was like the only game in town. And then I actually got a same day offer on uh, TaskRabbit. And that was after I bumped my rates back over 50. So it was an hour and 45 minute job. Uh, yeah, friendly, friendly client, friendly dog, and uh, took about, yeah, and then uh, left a tip. So that was 122 bucks for less than two hours. I had to come back home to get my appliance dolly because I had a job. I had a job like 25, 30 minutes north of where I live. So I had to come home to get my appliance dolly, get there. It was, they wanted a jukebox moved into the trunk of an SUV. So, and she, over the app, the client said she wanted me to bring two or three guys or an extra two guys. And I said, I could probably do it myself. And I did. Cause I got there, strapped the jukebox to my appliance dolly and tipped it into the truck. I had the client reach in, grab one of the handles of the appliance dolly. And then me and her dad lifted the jukebox from the bottom of the dolly, slid it in. I lifted up the jukebox. They slid the dolly out and then pushed the jukebox the rest of the way into the trunk. Took five minutes. And I was expecting a big tip because this is a 350-pound jukebox. Uh, nothing. No tip. I saved that client like 100 bucks by not hiring two other taskers. She was so thankful she didn't give me a tip. All right, so that was Friday the 1st. Um, Saturday was all task rabbit. Had a job at 10 a.m., Got there pretty much exactly at 10 a.m. Uh, had to bring a box up to the client's penthouse apartment in Streeterville. Well, not Streeterville. It was downtown. Uh, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was downtown. Uh, and then I had to assemble a Walmart like desk. Assembly took about an hour and 15 minutes. Whole job took about an hour and 45. Um, 
then I had to haul ass to the suburbs because I was already running late for my suburb job, heavy lifting job, where I had to move six pieces of a sectional sofa from the garage through one like building and then through the little, little courtyard into the other building, up an elevator into the apartment, you know, and everything like that. So that it was tedious. It took about an hour, yeah, hour and 45 minutes. Um, and that stupid client gave me a four star for no goddamn reason. Uh, I do remember at one point in the job, the client said, I didn't know this was that easy. I could have done it myself. I was like, well, then you shouldn't have fucking hired me. <laughs> I don't know what other reason. Like, I like to keep my ratings high. Obviously, ratings matter on TaskRabbit. I was friendly. I mean, I was a little late. A little bit late. Um, but, like, I assembled the furniture. I put it all together. I locked it in. I'm like, what were you expecting me to do? I Whatever. And then I got a same day offer for moving, um, for moving, um, it was literally moving stuff from one unit to the next unit across the hall. It was tedious, uh, client was super friendly. It was an hour and a half and she gave a $40 cash tip. So I made 120 bucks for an hour and a half on that one. So that was a good job. So that was Saturday, three tasks. And then today, um, I meant to wake up at four. I <coughs> pancake. <coughs> Who wants a free dog? <coughs> She's barking at nothing right now. <laughs> pancake, zip it. Uh, and then Sunday today, uh, I got in the car around 5.05, ran Lyft. Uh, I lost my my, uh, my acceptance, my trip duration and direction on, on New Year's Day because I, I was just kind of testing the wires with Lux and a couple of pinks came in that I didn't expect and <laughs> turned them down. So my, my acceptance rate's at 89%. So my first ride was filtered, my first three, filled to towards the corn place and uh I bet always playing games in this house uh and then the so the first two rides took me towards the city the third ride was actually from the west side to the south side like 79th and commercial um so overshot the filter by a little bit you know only 20 miles only only 20 minutes south of where I wanted to go and then I turned Lift Lux on. Uh, I got two rides. I went to the airport because the queue was low. I was sitting there for like 35, 40 minutes. Didn't get a Lux ride. Switched back to economy. Economy took me to the West Loop. Um, stopped to get food. And then I I just sat there with Lux on. I was, you know, I was tired. I was like, man, do I really feel like, do I really just feel like grinding today? Not really. So I'm like, I'll do Lux, you know, maybe I'll get an airport ride. Literally sat on the north side for like 45 minutes with just Lux on. Didn't get anything. Started checking this card. I actually got a delivery only order uh, on this card for 27 bucks. Completed that, turned Lyft back on, was running Lyft, couple rides later, and I got a same day offer for a 2.30 job. Then at one point I got a Lyft ride that took me from uh, Old Town to Old Town to Midway. Got a rematch at Midway. Took me pretty much to Indiana. At which point I'm like, okay, I got an hour to come back in the city and make my task. Started filtering back. Uh, got one pretty lengthy ride going north and then one ride back to Midway. And then I was 15 minutes late for my task. The client said that was perfectly fine. Complete the task made 54 it was literally exactly an hour uh and then yeah today was a wrap so that's all i got that's that's it so total so monday was 333 dollars and eight cents for nine and a half hours tuesday was 380 dollars and five cents for 12 and a half hours wednesday was 254 dollars 72 cents for 12 and a half hours 
Thursday was one hundred sixty three dollars eighty two cents for nine and a half hours. Friday was three hundred fifty eighty three hundred fifty dollars eighty four cents for ten hours. Saturday was two hundred sixty nine dollars and fifty cents for nine hours, and today was two hundred and fifty three dollars twenty four cents for eleven and a half hours. So with the Turo earnings from Tuesday, the grand total is twenty four hundred and three dollars and twenty five cents for roughly 74 and a half hours. So really not the best hourly average when you think about it. What is that, 27 bucks an hour total for the week? But keep in mind, I mean, I didn't really see a lot of instant offers this week. Uh, or, I mean, the ones I did see, I couldn't take because I was en route to a task or I was headed home. So if, if I would have maybe, if I would gotten two or three those would have been a game changer. I was looking forward to, to a $250 to $300 day on a Thursday, which didn't happen. And my girlfriend is causing a racket. Uh, so, yeah, everything, uh, every, you know, like I said, I, I did more Lyft than I wanted to this week. Um, made almost 600 bucks on Lyft when I really, I would have been happy making... 300 bucks on Lyft, but I didn't do anything on Amazon. I did one Amazon block, right? So, yeah, it's, it's generally Amazon and TaskRabbit are the difference makers. Um, and I don't have the pictures right in front of me. I have to go back to my car and check. I was at about 1140 miles for the week, roughly. So I drove a lot this week. That's more than I'm used to driving lately. Um, that is a lot of miles. That's that's more than I like doing in a week now. Uh, I'd rather do 700, 800, you know. But this was a long week, and this was a 2K week, so I guess I got to eat the miles here and there t to do so. Uh, the Turo drop, the Turo earnings were good. I dropped the car off last week. I had my dad pick it up. I'm slowly training him how to like do Turo with me. Um, so yeah that was my dad hooking it up there so yeah that was uh yeah i did it so this was my third best week ever as a gig worker and funny enough this was my um i made nearly three times what i made on lyft last year same week i think last year i made like eight 50 or something for 40 hours no yeah for 40 hours um you know essentially i did triple that with in twice the time <laughs> essentially yeah so yeah all right guys long week uh, i'm pretty much i mean even though it's not an off day for me tomorrow, it's pretty much an off day. I've only got two jobs lined up, so I should be back home in three hours. That'll probably be a hundred bucks richer. So, all right, that's all I got for this one, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay healthy, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.